Hi, I'm Dr. Nithi Khera, a senior consultant at Apollo Cradle, Murthy Nagar. We'll be talking about endometriosis. So what is endometriosis? Endometriosis is a chronic condition, often painful, that affects the woman's reproductive organs. What happens basically in this condition is that the cells which normally line the inside of the uterus or the womb, what we call the endometrial cells, some of these cells are found to grow outside the uterus. They could be growing on ovaries, which is the commonest side, or the tubes or the pelvic peritoneum, and very rarely extending onto the bowel or the intestines as well. This affects about 10 to 15% of women in the reproductive age group, and women from all across ethnicity and races are prone to it. No one is really barred from getting this condition. Why is there so much of a problem in this condition? We know that every month a woman's body undergoes certain hormonal changes. Every month, under the influence of these hormones, the lining builds up, breaks and sheds down. If there is no pregnancy, this lining is shed off as in a normal period. Now what happens in endometriosis is that these very cells which are growing outside the lining of the uterus or the womb, they also undergo similar changes as those that occur with the menstrual cycle. So they also undergo cyclical changes. There is building up of these cells, there is breaking up of these cells, and there is bleeding. But unfortunately, there is no escape route for this blood that's lying outside. And this blood then gets trapped, and this is what leads to pain, inflammation, and scarring. The main symptoms or signs that occur in this situation, about 75% of women, that is as large as three-thirds of women, will have some kind of a pain. It could be in the form of a chronic pelvic pain or it could be painful periods. The severity, intensity and duration of this pain can vary from women to women. There could be pain occurring during intercourse affecting their sex lives. There could be pain occurring with bowel movements. There could be pain occurring while urination. And then there could be a whole symptoms of irregular bleeding. There could be heavy bleeding or the cycle itself might go haywire and there would be abnormal bleeding. Another very important sequelae of endometriosis is that most of the women with a severe condition can have some sort of a difficulty in conceiving as well. So the fertility chances are going to go down because it has been shown that endometriosis plays havoc in fertilization, in egg ruptures and is even harmful to the developing embryo. Yes, it is a chronic, slow, insidious process, but it is important to remember that it is not an infection, it is not contagious, and is definitely not cancer. There could be a whole lot of treatment options, and the approach would basically depend upon what is the main sign or symptom for the patient, what is the main concern for the patient, what is the age group of the patient that you are dealing with, what is her background, lifestyle, occupations, and her desire for further childbearing and the severity of the signs and symptoms. Based on all this is an individualized treatment or an individualized approach. And the various options could include a lifestyle management, medications for pain relief, medications for taking care of the inflammation part associated with the condition. Then there could be hormonal medications to suppress the growth of the endometrial tissue and if all of this does not succeed, then yes, surgery does come into play. Surgery could be in the form of laparoscopy that is preferred, which is the keyhole surgery. And if it doesn't work that way, then yes, an open surgery and the rarest of the rare case, but in the very severe ones, even a hysterectomy or a drastic measure like removal of the uterus, tubes and ovaries is to be considered as a last resort. But definitely the first and foremost would be a trial of the medical management depending on what the main concerns are and quite often you would need to mix and match the doses of the hormones, the duration and the type of hormones that are to be given depending upon the individual needs and a combination of two or three approaches. Whatever be the treatment options decided, the key point to remember is that the key point of managing this whole condition is early diagnosis and treatment. The earlier you start the treatment, the more likely you are to succeed and to reduce the severity of the, and the possibility of having complications and sequelae later on. Thank you. With Apollo Cradle, you and your baby are always in safe hands.